Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Nicole. If you guys are new here and if you're not new here, welcome back. I'm so excited to film today's video because today's video is going to be more on the spiritual personal development side of my YouTube channel, I would say. If you guys can't tell, I'm in a completely different background. I'm actually at Mitch's right now and him and his roommates are like building a hammock. So I'm in his room just chilling. I did a workout today. I went for a run, I did a workout, like abs and glute workout here in his bedroom and now I thought I would film a video. A lot of my videos are, I would say most of them are like health and fitness, like healthy lifestyle vlogs, but I also want to talk about more like personal development, motivational type of content, but also spiritual content because I feel like the foundation for a lot of personal development and that kind of content kind of is deeply rooted in I guess spiritual principles, one of them being the law of attraction, the law of vibration. One of the biggest, I guess, principles or laws that is not talked about as much is actually the law of vibration, which is actually the foundation to the law of attraction. Of the law of vibration is that nothing rests and that everything moves. So in other words, everything has a frequency, everything has an energy to it. At a fundamental level, everything in the universe or that comprises the universe is a vibratory energy manifesting itself into different things. So well, I guess the easiest way to describe it is that, or in simplicity, um, matter is nothing but energy moving. So when you think about, say, your hand, like the shape of my hand is not just the shape of my hand, it can it changes the way it looks the closer you're able to see so like when you put a living organism underneath a microscope and you're able to like zoom down and see you can see that it's actually just a bunch of moving particles moving energy so that vibration is what takes shape of certain things and certain matter i don't know if i'm explaining it correctly but the idea is in quantum physics basically points to the idea that everything is made out of an energy but it's not just like physical things that are made up of these energies and vibrations. It can be kind of intangible things as well, such as our thoughts and our emotions. Not just like material things actually have these frequencies, but it's our emotions, it's our thoughts. So if everything is resonating at a certain frequency, we have the ability to basically uplift that frequency to a different level to make ourselves feel better inside. So in this video, I wanted to share a few of my favorite tips on ways that I uplift my vibration when my energy is feeling stagnant or just kind of lethargic in any sort of way or if I'm feeling certain emotions that are negative that aren't serving my highest good or allowing me to get closer to my purpose I try to do these tips and hopefully they help for you guys I know they help for me so we'll just get right into the video so one of the first tips I want to share with you guys that can instantly uplift your vibration is thinking and being conscious about the thoughts that you're thinking so I know sometimes it's you know in a lot of these spiritual um, law of attraction videos a lot of people talk about think positive thoughts and it truly is so true you really do have so much more control than you think over your thoughts or at least becoming aware of what you're thinking so that say even if you're having like a negative emotion or never a negative thought cycle you can kind of like work through that and be conscious of what's happening so that you don't let it affect your everyday life and the things that you're doing throughout the day essentially when you become more conscious of your thoughts and the things that that you're feeling inside you can really change the perspective and the outlook and then the momentum of your day so say you're thinking about something that's stressing you out and at least being conscious of what's going on can allow you to kind of have a more introspective look on what's going on as a whole so that you can kind of give yourself some positive affirmations that can self-soothe you in a way to be able to propel you to be more positive it essentially allows you to just kind of dismiss that thought or to provide yourself a positive affirmation or an alternative to the situation that allows you to see the situation in a different light. The second tip that I wanted to share with you guys is drinking a ton of water. I know that 
drinking water isn't always the easiest habit to get into. I know for myself, I just have never been the type of person to carry around a water bottle a lot or anything like that, but it is seriously so good for you and it really does uplift your vibration and it kind of allows you to flush out any negative thoughts or toxicity that's sitting in your body, therefore allowing you to kind of raise your frequency. I always like to keep a water bottle on me now just to stay hydrated, but it really does kind of flush out anything that's not needed in your body or that doesn't serve your highest good and your highest health. The third tip that I want to give you guys is basically just being super, super conscious of the media that you guys are consuming. It's so easy to listen to, like I know for myself, I love listening to like rap music or like really intense EDM while I work out, but I know that sometimes that kind of music doesn't always have the most positive messages. I know that a lot of rap music has very sexualized lyrics, not just rap music, but a lot of even country music has sexualized lyrics, but really being conscious of the shows that you're watching, the music that you're consuming, things that you have on in the background, such as news, all of these things can deeply root certain beliefs into our subconscious minds and if we're operating a majority out of our subconscious mind I think it's like 75 to 80 percent of our decisions that we make are rooted from the subconscious so just thinking about different types of media that you guys are consuming I personally have a couple of playlists on my Spotify like raising your vibration listening to 428 Hertz 520 Hertz certain songs and vibrations can kind of you know help you uplift your current frequency so I would highly suggest like listening to positive affirmations listening to 528 Hertz basically just listening to more conscious and uplifting media or music can definitely help you uplift your overall frequency if that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is going for a walk I love walking outside so much I don't know the science behind it but my dad was trying to explain this to me my dad's actually kind of like low-key little low spiritual but he just like is very in tune with how things work i i mean he's an electrician so he knows how like the ener different energy pulls but if you walk outside basically he was explaining how when lightning hits it will hit the closest thing to the earth because of the way it pulls you down and like grounds you to the earth so when you think about when you walk outside and if you're barefoot on the ground you're actually being pulled down and grounded into the earth i don't know my dad explained it a lot better than i can but essentially being outside in the nature and having that grounding experience really does help you uplift your frequency okay and the final tip that I have for you guys is to be more conscious of the foods that you're eating. Certain foods have a very high vibration and certain foods don't. Consuming dead animal products such as like dairy and meat is obviously going to have a lower frequency. I think, I believe a Big Mac doesn't even have a frequency or a vibration to it. So really focusing on plants from the earth and eating a whole foods diet that's very holistic and well-rounded will definitely uplift your vibration and your overall frequency but more than anything try to eat as intuitively as possible and focusing on foods that make you feel good if you're feeling uplifted and energized after your meals then you're probably eating higher vibrational foods and if you're feeling lethargic and tired and want to sleep after your food or your dinners and your meals that's probably a good sign that you should be switching to a more plant-based holistic diet so I think that it's a little bit easier than we think when we're thinking about the different things that make us feel good really just try to do the things that make your body feel good and energized especially when it comes to conscious eating and conscious drinking a lot of foods that have different chemicals and different pesticides on them all of those kind of things that are meant to basically produce a ton of food at a mass level are going to lower your vibration sometimes even health quote healthy foods like plants and vegetables can also lower your vibration if it's produced in an unethical way. So just be really conscious about where you're buying your food from. Try to buy local as possible. Try to buy organic if you can. But ultimately, you know your body best and what's going to uplift you and feel good. Food is supposed to be nourishment and fuel for your body. And if you're eating something and afterwards you feel like kind of like crap or lethargic, you're obviously not fueling your body or giving it the nutrients that it needs to basically vibrate on a frequency that's going to make you feel your best. 
So those were my tips. I'm not for sure how many there were. I think there were six tips. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. It's really fun for me to film these because these are topics that I do a lot of my, in my personal life, in my personal time, I just like research a lot on ways that I can, you know, deepen my spiritual practice. Overall, if you guys like these kind of videos, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to turn on your post bell notifications. It's just that little um, bell right down below. It just notifies you next time I upload. And lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. It really helps me out. I'll link the subscribe button. It's right down below right here as well. And without further ado, also don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. It's just at Emily Nicole 97 for my Instagram, Snapchat, and Spotify. So definitely link everything that I mentioned in this video down in the description box below. And without further ado, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.